Hey guys, it's Russell Tussle, and welcome back for part 8 of RimWorld, of our third playthrough. Uh, gosh, I... Uh, so the last episode was part 7. I didn't remember at the end what number we were on. We are, we are getting into this, guys. We have come a long way through the mud and sweat. I don't know. I'm not good at, you know, motivating heroic movie speeches. All right, guys, it's just not something, it's not one of my strengths. Let's move on. Moving on. Lumi, are you injured? Oh, last episode, we got attacked by a bunch of rabid turtles. Not one, but like eight. A herd of rabid turtles. So they're just dead turtles everywhere, guys. We're gonna make some turtle soup. Oh, well, this one's still alive. That's right. Someone needs to take him out. No one's a night owl, are they? No. Oh, that's right. Wolfie died. There's his blood. Ooh, there's lots of blood in places. We have lots of medicine that's just sitting outside, rotting. You know what we need, guys? We need some huskies. We need to buy some huskies from a trader. So that they can just haul goods all day long. Alright, Lumi. Come practice. And while you're here, might as well harvest some cotton, right? Major break risk. Oh god. And it's while she's butchering turtles. That's not scary. So I think the reason she's having such trouble is not only because she's neurotic, but... Oh, okay. She did have a negative modifier from losing her pet. Oh no, maybe that was somebody else. I don't know. I don't know why she's always in a bad mood. I guess she's just one of those people, guys. She's always cranky. Alright, Tammy is hauling stuff. Whoops, I didn't pause the game, guys. That's my bad. Sorry, I had to close the window because I live in a complex and someone was yelling to someone else that they brought them cupcakes. Very loudly. I brought you cupcakes, bruh! Cupcakes! <sighs> People are weird. But then again, so am I, so... So yeah, how about them apples? Plot twist. Put some llama beds back in there. Just kidding, they're alpaca. That's offensive. Sorry. Let's do some carpets. Can you imagine if this, if we uh, can only grow things seasonally? It'd be bad, guys. It'd be super bad. Alright, someone needs to clean before I lose my mind. Don't interrupt Tammy. <clears throat> Ugh, I don't have any power. stuff that needs to be... Ooh, what? Hold up. What? New lovers. 
Smith and Tammy become new lovers. <gasps> what? Smith finally got out got with someone. He's been trying for a very long time, we all know. Okay, so... That means... Okay, they're sleeping. But my question is... Because she... Tammy is jealous. Is she the jealous one? She is. So she needs the most impressive bedroom, but if she shares a bedroom with Smith, won't he also have an impressive bedroom? So will that conflict? Or will it not count because they're lovers? Like it won't count him? Because she's not jealous of her own lover, right? Oh, look! Does that mean they were doing it when there were hearts? Now they both get really good movements. Because they got some love in at last 24 hours. So I think that means we can expect them to have sex every day. Oh, look at all that turtle meat. Tortoise meat, sorry. They're not the swimmy ones. Oh, Marina, you're a good shot, right? Go equip this pistol. Also, weren't we making guns? Who's on that? With materials, steel, components. See, the thing about crafting is I feel like you, they need to be in storage, but they're not. They're all. Oh, hold up. Hold the phone. We actually don't have any steel on the board. Is it because of this guy? No? What do we. What do, what do we. What do we spend steel on, guys? All right, Tammy, you're going back to mining. Wait, who's that? Yeah, that's Tammy. Lumi's getting food poisoning. Of course she has. It's the frontier. Dysentery is like breathing. Get used to it. <laughs> oh, that was probably a bad joke. Oh, I remember. So... I encountered this problem before when when mining stuff our way because they won't necessarily go over there and mine if it's too far away they'll just they'll resort to doing other stuff by the base because it's not I don't know I don't know if it's because it's not safe to go too far away by yourself I mean they'll do it you know for animals or whatever uh, but a good workaround that I found is to... Do a new area. So area two, rename. Rename it to mining. And then basically have it only near mining. And so when it's work hours, Tammy can only go mine. She can't do anything else because she's stuck in this area and that's the only work related thing to do over here. And she's in a good mood though, so we should be fine. Cause she got some loving, so we should be fine to ignore her. Don't forget to like undo it at night though so they can come home and sleep. It's the only cautionary tale. Gosh, I wish we could turn corn into whiskey instead of just hops into beer, right? Because we have so much corn, we can make so much whiskey, sell it on the black market, or the regular market, whatever it is in this game. Sell it to the locals, they won't know what hit them. Cancel that one.
The only problem now is who the heck's gonna go haul the stuff, you know? So like I said, that's why we need huskies. Oh, she's always about to break. Alright, the workday's over. So we're not gonna restrict her. She might continue working because she's already there. Okay. So maybe you just flick it on in the beginning and she'll just come home when she's ready. God, no one's relocated this bed. Oh, they're sharing a bedroom now. so much stuff to haul that nothing gets hauled, and then it degrades. Alright, tomorrow's gonna be a haul day, I guess. Except for Tammy. She's got stuff she's supposed to be doing, but she's not. Oh, this is a big, big colony. Not exactly number wise, but you know, space wise. crafting. You couldn't do that before. You actually couldn't. A housemate named Nikita Rhodes calls you from nearby. He's being chased by pirates from the convict party. He begs you for safety. Biologically, he's 18 years old. Mm, last time we did this. So, yes, it would be nice to get another colonist. Last time we did this, we lost Linda, right? There was a trade, we got Smith, and we lost Linda. She was kidnapped and then she died from an infection. I don't know why I remember, it was just so dramatic. That's why I remember her death. Little message up there. So, I think we're gonna be like, mm, sorry Nikita, we, uh, we got more important things to worry about right now. Nikita screams in panic through the tiny speaker before you cut off. Oh, that's, that's actually really sad. We just, but well, the truth is, we just don't have good defenses. That's the fact of the matter? The matter of the fact? I don't know. Put in the comments below. Which one is it? Matter of fact? Fact of matter? Something? Something, 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 something. Something. That was supposed to be a joke, but then it, it didn't happen. It's early, guys. It's... It's 1030, okay. I'm gonna finish my second cup of coffee. Just be be proud I'm able to spin any sort of comprehensible sentence at all. Alright, we were having a fall day. You know what? Let me craft. We're gonna Oh she's getting stuff. Oh she's getting lots of stuff. Yay, finally. Look at that. Lumi just got everything all at once. All the medicine. Even though it's already all messed up. Yeah, we get it. People are always sad. These are sad times. They'll, they'll be fine. So I think we might expand this. ever onward so we can get all this out of the way 
look, look at what a great job they're doing, hauling everything. Are they hauling all the steel? No. That's fine. It's because it's too far away. <gasps> She's making a gun. Oh, that's right, her crafting is terrible. But she's the only one that has a passion or an interest in it. <gasps> Tammy has accepted Smith's marriage proposal. At some point in the coming days or seasons, they'll have their marriage ceremony and invite all the colonists. Consider placing a marriage spot. We want to control where the ceremony occurs. Alright, so we might have to do up a little nice area somewhere. I don't really know where. Usually I, I like to stick a little outside area. Because outdoor weddings are fun. I just don't know where. It could be a while, so I think we have time to plan. And pick a pick a slot for them. That's right, I want to build a wall and do deadfall traps. Like a choke point? I don't know if that's gonna happen though. Oh look at Tammy's mining all on her own. That's why she's not doing that and stuff. But look! Like it's literally prioritized. Get out of there, Tammy. Go craft. Craft your little heart out. We need shotguns. Steel? No, I don't think so. Oh, look at all of it over there. So my question is, yeah, that's all really, really ugly. What is? Oh, here we go. This tells us that's a pretty impressive room compared to everyone else. Ooh, why is that one almost as impressive? Ooh, those are all. We need some more stuff in there. Oh, what am I? No. Oh. No. Oh. Where was it? Is it this one? No. Oh. There we go. Jeez. Yay, carpets! Uh, that one. God, we're researching stuff so fast. Oh my god, look at all the hay that they get to eat. I wish there's a way to, like... So you can tell them not to plant more? But I, w I wish you could be like, don't harvest it. Just let it grow, and they'll eat it when they're hungry. You know what I mean? Actually, we'll just turn it off. There's plenty. They have lots of grass, too. The grass seems to grow back very, pretty quickly. So they'll be fine. Yeah, shotgun! Alright, where is it? Cool. So. We'll keep looting on the rifle. See, I feel like shotguns are good for people that can't aim well. So. Oh, no one's incapable of violence. Good to know. Alright, we'll give you the shotgun, Calhoun. 
Yeah. That was my attempt at making a shotgun noise, if you guys can tell. <clears throat> Didn't work out real great, but it's fine. Oh, I wonder if they go to bed at different times. There they go. She woke them up for some loving. That's great though, because look, look, literally no negative modifiers. He is too, because she woke him up for some, for some midnight delight. I guess that only works for me when it's in the afternoon. It's fine, I tried. I tried my hardest, guys. Now look how dirty everything is again, Jesus. Stuff just doesn't stay clean when you're in the wilderness. Just always dirty. Is there a floor here? Where's that? If only we could, like, need to add, what it, what's it called? Like a doormat that you can put in front of the doors that prevents people from tracking dirt in the house. I wish Marina could clean, because I would just have her clean and research. But she can't do nothing. Three of you clean up, clean up the shop. This place is gross. Maybe if we lay down carpet, it'll be a little nicer. I don't know. That looks better, right? You see what I mean? Like, there's absolutely no need for them to be harvesting all that still. So. Although this might last a while, the hay that's in there. Expand this. Calhoun, why are you just awful? She's, she's literally the worst. Just can't get her act together. Move this bed yet. There's also no roof on that structure. See how you can see the rain, and you can on the other ones. Everyone's just busy, I guess. No one wants to build. Oh, that explains so much, guys. I turned off construction for a lot of people because I wanted them to do other things, and then I forgot. It didn't turn it back on. So now they'll actually construct. Because I was like, wow, they're, they're, they're taking their sweet time with this. This whole situation. And now we know. <clears throat> you know that it's my fault. That's fine. Most things are. Oh, they're having a little powwow. A local capybara. No, they're so cute. Someone shoot it. Lumi. Let him blow it up. That was terribly annoying.
Move, move, Aletta. Aletta. <gasps> oh my god, guys. That really did just happen because I'm an idiot. I just assumed she would have been able to disengage. Seriously, Lumi? You kill that capybara like it's... Did you just shoot Calhoun? Oh my god. Exotic goods trader. Okay. Okay. I, I can't worry about you right now. Sarcophagus. Alright, we can't, we can't afford a sarcophagi. Alright, this will be the grave. You in the graveyard? Be around here. Sad face. Oh, I'm so upset. So upset, guys. Go take that grave, Calhoun. It's a task that fits your it fits your sunny disposition. Oh my god. Oh, Letta. Man, that was such a stupid way to go, too. It's literally because I told her to. Contains a Letta. Oh. Oh, devastated. Devastated. Gosh, well, now we have two empty rooms. Uh, and look, everything's dirty again. God damn it. Seriously, need doormats. Well, guys, I think that's where I'm going to end this episode. One, because I'm upset. And two, because we're, we're, at, we're about at the 30-minute mark, which is what I aim for when recording these. I try to have a little timer, try to make them all around 30 minutes. Also, I'm hungry and wouldn't mind making breakfast so that's that's the thing too oh look at look at all these look at all these peeps over here let's go what's going on no huskies though just buffalo and reindeer caribou same thing right right same thing anyway once again my name is russell tussle and this was oh shit i never remember this was part eight definitely part eight of our third playthrough of firm world Alpha 15. That's getting so complicated. I might need to re rework that. So I've been labeling these as like part 3 dash whatever. So 3 being the first number being the playthrough number and the second being like the episode number of that playthrough. Anyway, like, subscribe, do what you want, comment. I don't know. I'll, I need to go eat something, guys. Okay, bye. Thanks for watching.